do the light sweep text effect in Apple Motion. Go to Final Cut Title. Uh, this this uh, frame rates don't matter now. Duration six seconds or well, whatever. Open. Okay. Let's uh, let's delete it. I use my, uh, my own. Just create a random text. Light sweep text. Okay. So let's create a shape. You can rectangle. Rectangle is good. Then just click once and drag. Hold it, hold it and drag, okay? So this is the shape. So now we select it inspector and uh, blurry make it blurry okay shape geometry wrong shape feather we need to look for feather okay feather here okay so turn this off we don't need to record this okay no need to record just feather it um it's too big make it smaller and the feather it even more let's see okay maybe drop the opacity okay um so let's change the text color to other uh to something other than white appearance Maybe a light green or light uh, lighter color. Okay, whatever color other than other than white. Now we can create a shape mask for the rectangle. Well, when it cross, let's just move it rectangle. Go to put a property and uh, positions. Move across. Move it. Move it across. Like this. Keyframe. Uh, let's make sure you um, place your playhead in the beginning. Okay, and uh, position about. Uh, I'm going across from left to right. Okay, so keyframe one here. Then move the playhead. Maybe anywhere, just move it somewhere, then move it across. We can adjust the uh, timing. I want to uh, move it far left, further, further left, further right to the right, because if I have a longer tag text, uh, the animation will, the rectangle will go through, will wipe through uh, all the text. Okay, so I usually I just go longer. Okay, so the key is to right click, add image mask. Right click on the rectangle, add image mask. Then drop the text. Okay, to the image mask. Go to right rectangle here. Go to image mask. Then click once, then drag. Okay, so let's click this and to make it visible. Play it. Okay, you can see it. Can you see it? Let me play it back again. 200. Go to the beginning. Okay, it's a little, it's a little bit slow. We can adjust it. Um, but let's first um, what I want to do. Okay, I want to show you how. If you want to play the loop, the animation, and let's move this. Okay, this thing. Click it. Move it, and let's place the 
play head he um, in bit in the range play his space bar then you will loop okay if it doesn't loop go to um which one loop there's loop playback yeah loop make sure this is selected loop playback so let's say the animation is too slow okay and uh, I want a faster animation we need to change the keyframe rectangle go to put property and uh, click once left click showing keyframe editor okay so now we have this so what if there's too um, too messy you would if you if the um, keyframe editor is too messy too many things going on you can click here clear curve list okay just clear clear it and then you want to solo sometimes you can solo um, I um, maybe I show you how to solo in the next video let's try it again click once showing keyframe editor we can make click this to make it bigger okay see this is what I'm saying see if there's too many th things going on see that this this one and this one if you can't if it's too messy just click once then go to showing keyframe editor okay there's a solo button I forgot which one but anyway um, let me check solo solo okay search it search help solo it's a uh, solo object object solo okay okay so make sure we can move it uh, draw click and drag a box then move it click and move it but I wanna hold down shift okay hold on shift select it first hold down shift then click drag okay Yeah, hold down shift, then you drag. Okay. So let's play it again. It's still too slow. Hold down shift. Okay, but it's better to select it first, then move it to the left. Okay, now it's fast. Okay. So, a little smaller, 1%. Unsolo it, solo, unsolo. Okay? So, click this. We don't need this. Oh, we can't see it though. What's happening? Okay, it's very subtle. So, it makes this. Uh, make this brighter maybe how can I make it bright oh, okay it's not it's not pure white that's that's the reason why okay let's try it again spacebar command question mark right command question mark can hide everything show overlay command question mark okay Okay, we can adjust the rectangle scale properties. Shape feather feels philosophy. Uh, feel, no, we can just uh, 
show it first image mask view show overlay okay so let's go to the so we can grab this make sure we can select it oh it's harder to select all right let's try it again maybe it's in the way oh my bad rectangle again okay it's fixed now I can't I can't okay. let's just uh, change the scale by going to properties and scale it there there okay let's scale it X here make it bigger then show hide it okay still um, very subtle so we need to find uh, we need to tweak it somehow maybe makes make, make uh, the text darker color okay go to a color board let's see space bar okay that that's more visible yeah so uh, we can definitely find to fine tune it fine to fine tweak it um, thanks for watching bye